we have a long-term strategy here at Financial Issues. And, you know, I think a lot of, for a lot of years, the 12 for 22 or 11 for 21 or 10 for 20, I think that's been misunderstood a lot of times by partners, especially partners who come in later in the year. Um, So one of the things that I'm going to try to do is give you a really good idea of what that list is and what it isn't. So um, basically you can kind of think of it as what's coming onto the buy list now. It's kind of a group of stocks that come on that could potentially have the potential to do a little bit better in this year. But again, we're not a short term strategy kind of ministry. There's, you know, there's, when people make short-term predictions, most of the time they're wrong. And you hear me talk about that quite a bit. And, you know, I just don't like to be wrong a lot. So I don't want to really get, I don't want to live in the short term and say, these are the things that you need to do. So if you bought things that were on the list last year and they never had a sell order come out, I don't necessarily think it's a great idea to get rid of it. You know, you you don't want to go in with the notion that I'm going to buy these things for a year and then get rid of them so I can buy the the new things that come out next year. So I'm going to try to help you stay on course by what is coming out on the list. So um, just just keep that in mind. and, And there's your there's the twist. 